Yo, what's going on, you guys? You're both Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over a quick red zone dot that you guys can add to your scheme to score more touchdowns. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, and hit that noti bell so you guys never miss an upload. Today's video, oh, FTA by the way, for the algorithm helps push these videos to more and more people. So comment anything. Uh, if you guys are looking for anything you know any kind of help leave it down in the comment section and follow me on twitch catch the action live so today's video it's going to be a video that's going to be centered around a play that i noticed throughout the mcs that the current champion he's no longer the champion because of the the next mcs um he was running this specific formation in the red zone to score touchdowns and to get those short yardage situations so that's exactly what we're going to be going over today and the formation that we're going to be talking about is the bunch y flex formation and you can find it in all these different playbooks the ravens panthers bears just take a screenshot if you guys need them and the play that we're going to be coming out in to make it to make our job as easy as possible well first off let me show let me showcase exactly what it is that we're doing here so in this formation specifically there is somewhat of a it's not really a glitch but it is kind of a glitch um, if you go and try to hot route the outside receiver, this guy right here where Moss is at, it only allows you to do the outside wide receiver hot routes. So say I take, say I take this guy here and I motion him out. He's now an outside receiver. And if you look, and if you take a look at the hot routes, he has all the hot routes that you would actually have if you were utilizing one of these, uh, one of the outside receivers, you know, a, a and B type of thing. So for some reason on this side in normal bunches the all three receivers on the bunch side end up getting slot receiver kind of hot routes well in this formation specifically that's not the case so what this allows us to do it allows us to put this guy here on a smoke screen now in this game everything is about spacing every single thing is about spacing and opening up gaps so that you can actually throw in in between those gaps to allow your receiver to actually go ahead and have a wide open lane so the way that we're going to score in the red zone is we're going to take the slot receiver that's on the inside and we're going to put him on a slant then we're going to take the slot receiver here r1 and we're going to put him on a flat pattern and then you're going to take this outside receiver here and since he's already in an in route it is the it is the red zone so we're going to go ahead and put him on a deep in route we're going to custom stem him all the way back to the end zone and then we're going to take the running back and put him on a table route this route this route concept right here is going to help you score a lot more touchdowns in the red zone now obviously like everything else you have to make a read but this right here this this specific route mind you they are in man they were in man coverage in this one specifically and a lot of people tend to run zone coverage in the red zone so what this does he's open by the way now the reason why i threw it to this one is because typically in this route combination you guys are going to be able to create enough spacing because this guy goes that way the slant goes that way and then this guy's coming over the top allowing this guy he is going to end up reacting to something right now he's manned up so he's not reacting to anything he's simply just guarding his, his man and we were supposed to hit the slant very very quick and that was supposed to be our read but this concept here it only works in formations like this bunch flex where you guys are going to be able to showcase exactly the spacing now if they are in zone you see the gap he opens up wide pause and you guys see how much space and opportunity you guys have and this works not only just the red zone but it works in other formations as well um as long as they're running zone coverage this is going to work for you in any in any in any kind of way as you can see look at how much space you have this will work whether you're within the four yard mark five yard mark um as long as you can kind of get that that specific animation where he catches it and he looks like he wants to go turn up field you'll end up getting positive yardage almost every single time when it comes to this formation and this play now after that if that's not open well that's exactly why we have the slant and the the backside dig pretty much coming coming over the top so that you guys can go ahead and actually go ahead and highball maybe in the back of the end zone to square 
And then the next thing that I feel like it, it'll help is if you put it put them on an in route from, from time to time just to kind of create a different level of, of spacing when it comes to this play. Now, don't don't allow the, the in route to be too small or too too small of an in route because you don't want triangle. You don't want the running back route and that slot route to end up crossing each other too much. And that's why the slant is actually like somewhat of a better option, because, again, it creates that little that little high low that little high low situation on the sidelines that if that guy is guarding the slant you'll end up having the underneath route open if that guy's guarding the underneath route you might be able to high ball it to the slant there and from time to time those slants end up open regardless now as you can see boom slants open we we just have to make a read that's all we have to do okay we have two man beating routes with the in route and the slant and then you have the zone destroyer now the best play to come out in specifically when it comes to this is going to be flood now again the playbooks that i showcased at the beginning of the video those all have flood in it okay some of the bunch flexes might not have those specific plays but that one specifically has flood in it and it allows it so that you already have a a deep in route coming pretty much coming from the back of the end zone and that's exactly that's all you really need and then you and then you make the rest of the adjustments however you see fit and that's it you're just you're just you're, you're skipping the step of having to hot route the flood route pretty much on the field so again if they are in zone route look at how much spacing you end up getting and again this works not only in the red zone but it works if they're calling any kind of zone and i'll and i'll showcase it to you i'll back up i'll back up the offense so you guys can see how many yards we can actually get uh you know what let me let me put it on the actual 30 mark here just so it's at an actual perfect line of line line of scrimmage so anything anything aside anything aside from from the 30 we're going to count that as as actual yardage and that's going to be the play you guys can call this no matter where it is on the field and as long as they are in zone you guys are going to be able to sit there and hit that man and as you can see five yards five yards five yards five yards five yards five yards they can't stop it there's too much spacing involved in this play and it's because of this nice this it's just it's he sits down he sits down perfect it's just a perfect sit down route that helps open up the rest of the offense and, it, and honestly you can honestly create a decent little scheme out of this out of that one specific route concept and i might just do that for you guys and drop a nice little mini ebook for, for you guys but again this is a super easy cheap money play that will get you some yardage especially if it's a short down yardage situation you'll end up being able to space out the field perfectly and if they the user is always going to chase after the slant that's and and this is something that i've noticed when i've played and ran this play myself the user chases the slant every single time which from time to time it leaves the in route open but of, of, we don't have a route that that's going all the way upfield to actually bring back any zones so be careful when you are running this in a short yardage situation because you really only have two easy routes to hit and that is this route that creates the crazy amount of spacing and then the slant the back the backside dig sometimes if you put it too deep um the 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 defenders will be will be right there to pretty much play it and they'll be able to switch stick on it and it'll just make your life a little bit more frustrating when it comes to trying to make one of these passes but again this is the bread and butter right here is this route because you'll always get yardage especially if they are in zone you will get yardage on this i promise you it's it's one of the best routes in my opinion it's one of the easiest routes and one of the best routes especially to create some some spacing and zone and again five five extra yards every single time my name is Tony Montana. Hope you guys appreciate this video. I will see you guys in the next one, man. As always, two fingers, deuces. Peace out, you guys.